There we are, and we are live, hitting it off, hitting it off, guys. What's going on? Did you miss us? I know it's been a while. I know I Gee. missed y'all. Oh, see, King can miss you guys. See, that's a very important, very, very important. Yes. Hold on, guys. Sorry, I'm, I'm, my arm is being twisted because I'm trying. To, what? <laughs> I'm trying to do this here. It's not working out so well. <laughs> it looks, your arm looks straight to me. Okay. But thank you, Ken. Appreciate it. I don't know. It's a good compliment, but. <laughs> It's a compliment I'm, I'm willing to take. Okay. <laughs> All right. Hold on, guys. Let me let me get myself situated back here. Anyway, welcome back, everybody, <laughs> to Nerd Talk. It has been a while since we did one. Hope you guys yeah, are doing all right. Hope you guys got your news. You didn't? Okay. Well, oh. don't worry. We're here. Yeah. We're here. We'll we're catch gonna you give up. You, we're going to give you the news. We're going to catch you up a little bit. There was a lot of stuff that happened over the course of weeks. I'm not talking about all of that because it's already... Past old news. news, you don't care it's about old that. news. We want the freshest, the latest, and greatest, and that's what we're here for. And you know who it is, it's your boy Jano's Tech, always here in the building. Got my hat on because my hair is atrocious, and of course, mm -hmm. risen from again his home, his kingdom. It is King Ken with the jacket on. He's not playing around. No, he's gonna. He's gonna. It have was snowing somewhere. earlier. Oh yeah, that is true. It was snowing very heavily. It snowed for like I would say like maybe an hour or two, mm. and then it just kind of went away it's no it, it, it was rain then light snow heavy snow no snow more snow and then it was just it that was it i was like what's going on with this weather might be today? more snow later who knows maybe as long as it doesn't affect the roads because i gotta work tomorrow <laughs> we're good <laughs> and i don't want to make the drive all the way over across a bridge and it's icy <laughs> i'm like i'm not coming in <laughs> to work i'm not coming home that's what he calls destiny i'm not coming home tonight <laughs> nah, i'm not coming home babe i'm not coming home Sorry. Uh, how long what why uh, i'm falling off the bridge currently do you want to see my car ice skate <laughs> that's <laughs> i'm currently falling off of the bridge yeah, exactly I'm, I'm i'm like this close if i move anymore and talk to you anymore i will fall and land i don't want that <laughs> but welcome back to nerd talk guys we miss you guys very heavily as mm -hmm. always this is a podcast that we like to do here every tuesday uh, we normally live stream this on twitch so again if you are not following us on twitch make sure you follow this channel on twitch make sure you follow my boy on twitch as well mm -hmm. also we also upload the portion to youtube as well so if you guys are watching this on youtube hello hope you guys enjoy the podcast let us know what you guys think we always appreciate it yeah leave now, a comment what? Said, leave oh, a comment. Leave leave a com read okay. them. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I love reading comments. Guys yeah. are great. Whether it's bad or good, I'll read them. Mm -hmm. Now, if I reply, that means I read it more. That means you're special to us. Exactly. You know what? <laughs> get dressed. We're taking you out this week. Exactly. Come on, get on. Get your nice, nice suit, nice dress. Get whatever you got. Come on, we're gonna take you out. We're gonna take you to uh that restaurant downtown. Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Oh, okay. Where a kid can be a kid. <laughs> <laughs> guy so we got we got some good news for you guys today not really a lot of topics today so we're not gonna bug you with the old school news but we do got a few new topics here of course we are getting closer to the next samsung product being released and we already got some leaks that may or may not be the actual phone but i'm very curious to know what everybody's thinking i actually read some of the comments on it and not a lot of people are impressed with the design but we will get into that later mm -hmm. uh rtx has now gone to Titan mode with the new Titan RTX. Yeah. Maybe this one can actually run ray tracing. Maybe, maybe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Sony is looking to go ahead and step into the foldable game and creating their own foldable phone. Mm -hmm. And Walmart steps into the PC <laughs> game. It doesn't turn out that well for them. Yeah, it's not looking, not looking good for Walmart. But we'll, mm -hmm. we'll talk about that a little bit later. But as always, you know what we got to do on this channel. So let me, let me, I got to, the, the way I have my setup this time, I can't, is my mouse is over here so if you see me reaching out that's me reaching out to the mouse because the one i was gonna use didn't work <laughs> so we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen um but i gotta do this i can get this right let's see no these transitions hold right. on hold on whoa 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 before we get into those sexy transitions i'm about to blow your mind watch this watch this Boom, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, right down there, as you know, every time we go ahead and start the stream, we like to play a little music for you guys, you know, soothe the ear, get you guys into the proper mood for these amazing mm -hmm. podcasts. And these are always brought to us by our boy, Nasus. So what you heard at the beginning of this podcast actually comes from his new series called Wonderful Weather. It is a fantastic series. 
Best one by far. I probably said that before, but I'm dead serious. This one is the best one. I can't describe how good it is. You gotta listen to it. So make sure you go to soundcloud.com slash Nasus. Check that new series out. Let them know that JKT sent you. Show them some love because those songs are really good. Some of my favorite songs on there is Ralph's Heart. I think it's the um, Closure is a good one as well. And then the, um, I think Summer Vibe, I think it's called. It's called Summer Vibe. Yes. So those are <laughs> those are my three favorite songs. So make sure you check them out. Show them some love. Definitely is fantastic when it comes down to making music. He's actually going to be coming out with some new series, hopefully within the next couple of months. So be on the lookout for that. Make sure you follow him there. But like I said, if you want to check out more of his music, SoundCloud.com slash Nauseous is where you can find him. Mm-hmm. So check him out. Show him some love. Now, we're going to go ahead and get on to that tech news. So I'm going to go ahead and transition right back. To that uh, beautiful banner that I got down there. I worked hard on this thing. Man. I worked very hard to simplify it. Look at that. We I mean, I've never seen a better banner. Okay. Yeah, me neither, man. It's just it's how we do it here. We believe in giving you the best, best mm-hmm. content and the best look. Check it out. It's awesome. It's great. Look at that. Bow tie down there. Don't play around with me. I know I'm not wearing my bow tie today. Look, I, I actually. This isn't really bow tie appropriate I know. apparel. I, think, I don't know if it was you that asked me, but there was. Somebody said. They, were, they told me, it came to me one day and who watches the stream as well, and they said, you know, you, you always wear your bow ties when you're doing a review, but you don't wear your bow ties when you're doing a podcast. And I and I said, well, I like to be a little more casual when I do the podcast, just because if you're sitting here for an hour with a bow tie on, does it, it's not the most comfortable experience, I'll say. Now, if you guys want it, I will do the bow tie, but I usually like to do those for the reviews. Um, so there you go. So, yes, yeah, so I'm a little bit more casual when I do the podcast, just because, you know, we're casual people you know come on don't yeah we're casual gamers casual gamers casual lovers of tech so i mean (laughs) what are you worried about what are you worried about but let's go ahead and get straight on to the tech news so the first thing we're going to go and talk about and again if you guys are curious about uh the articles or you want to read them for yourself i will leave them in the link in the description below i decided not to do a a capture of it just because it doesn't give you guys a chance to actually look at the article and read it Mm -hmm. so uh, if you guys do want to take time to read the articles that's where we'll leave it in the description below on youtube again if you are watching it there um but this first article is going to be coming from the motley fool Mm. That's a new one. That is that is new. It's not the Verge of CNN. I'm doing a good job here. I know. And this is NVIDIA announcing their beastly new Titan RTX. Basically, I mean, what else do you need there? It's 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 a beast. It's a monster. Go buy it. All right. You know? End of story. Click off. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. No, but this is their new Titan series. Of course, it is going to be using the RT, using RTX. Or is it? No. What is the new architecture? Dang it. Um, I done for guys. I'm already see. This is how you know I haven't done one. In a while. Is it um going to Turing now? Turing, yeah, Turing, a Turing uh, processor. And um, if you've got a cool twenty five hundred dollars to spend, mm-hmm. this is the perfect card for you. Uh, it comes in this nice, looks like a gold color. It's really nice. Yeah, I like it. It is RGB, but you know it's a nice little metal. Yeah, it's it's pretty dope. I'll, just, I'll put some hue lights on it. <laughs> <laughs> Make it shine. Um, but so as far as specifications go, it's going to be using 24 gigs of high speed DDR G6 RAM. Uh, it's got a 672 gigabyte bandwidth. Uh, it's just a nice improvement over your 20 ATI. So if you're sitting there, you said, I'm about to spend a thousand dollars on this 20 ATI. What can I get better? Fifteen hundred dollars more. Fifteen hundred bucks more. You get it. Um, now, I don't know if they talk a little bit about um, a little bit more, any more of the specifications. I actually didn't. I don't think they do. Mm, not really. I think that's all they've really announced. About yeah, it. I think it was just more so just kind of announcing the fact that it's, it's uh, going to be available. Um, it's going to be available later on this month. So, again, if you are into that or you want to buy because you got some money sitting around, yeah, it's definitely yeah. going to be it for you. But they really don't give you um, – they don't go in too much detail as far as specifications are concerned. Kind of just giving you kind of the gist as far as how much RAM it's going to be. So it's definitely going to be a step up from the 2080 Ti, which only has about 11 gigs of RAM. So mm-hmm. again, you're looking for a more of a higher enthusiast card. Let's see if they um if they actually <laughs> um what they say about the card is true though. Once it's actually yeah. So if, I don't know if you guys have paid attention. You probably have, but basically ray tracing is now out. Mm-hmm. Um, not a lot of actually, games still. Uh, yeah, it's actually out. Not a lot of games still fully support it, but it's officially out, and it pretty much cuts down the frame rate in half. Now, mo- a lot of people have been giving it kind of, you know, hate because it's like, man, I lose a lot of frame rates. But 
Um, the technology is actually still quite amazing. I actually watched uh, one reviewer talk about ray tracing when it on and off, and just kind of how much detail it adds to the gameplay is amazing. So he was doing an example with Battlefield Five, where um, if you go, if you crouch down, you're looking into a puddle, and you look at say like a fire, for example, mm -hmm. when you move towards a vehicle, the fire just goes away. You don't see it at all. And he got a little bit more details how it actually works. Um, I forgot the um, process that it's called, but it just mimics. It doesn't actually keep it there, whereas with ray tracing, it does. So he showed mm -hmm. it with it off and then with it on. And while it does, yes, definitely tanks your frame rate a little bit, it's still a, it's really, really nice. So everything looks realistic, more realistic. And I mean, of course, this is new, new technology. So, you know, you can't expect it to out of the gate be amazing. Um, but the fact that, you know, it looks amazing. I mean, if you guys have not watched a video with ray tracing on or uh, watched anybody review ray tracing with just check it out. It's actually really cool technology. So, I mean, I don't mind losing the frame rate. I mean, for me, it's not too big of a deal. Like I could understand if it was where you're getting like a hundred, you know, FPS and you went from a hundred to like 10, you know, then it's like, okay, that's kind of bad, but you know, I mean, it's still bad. It cuts it down in half, but it, I, I understand too because it's new technology. So I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna be one of those people that dogs it out too much. You know, well, it to depends me. on the game you're playing. I mean, if you're playing a <laughs> FPS, you you don't want it to go in half, regardless. No, no, I mean, yeah, that's very true. You don't want <laughs> <laughs> you don't want 30 FPS. Uh, I mean, so I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure most people are gonna probably have this offer right now, just until mm -hmm. the technology gets more improved and is better optimized, so that it doesn't take your frame rate so bad. I think mm -hmm. you know, it's like. 50% it, 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 it cuts it in half so um, I mean then again there's not a lot of games right now that are fully supporting it either so mm -hmm. you know it's one of those things I would probably keep it off wait until it gets you know perfected and then once it's perfected it's be better optimized I'll probably start having it on more just because it's not going to really make a it, it, it will make a difference in the end but as of right now it's not worth the FPS cost so. Well, first off, we need to get an RTX to do that. <laughs> we, so. do. We, do. Mm. we do. So we don't have an RTX. We're so I'm close. I'm this close. I I don't know which one I'm going to get. But when I do, <laughs> I might just go ahead and get the Titan. Um, just, might, just might say, you know what? My Ryzen 2700X can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> no bottlenecking is going to happen whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's going to be the best experience ever. I'm going to be like, oh, awesome. So, <laughs> uh, man, so I don't know. You, you still now that RTX is out, you're going to get RTX graphics card. You still going to stay with the GTX series. I'm fine with my <laughs> GTX for now. You sure you don't want that ray tracing? It's, mm -hmm. that's, it's half a frame rate. What you mean? Why would I want that right it's now? It's OK. You can turn it off. I can turn it off. Then I don't need it. Then. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't I buy it when I do need it? And the cards will probably be cheaper by then. They, oh, well, that is true. Because they're expensive. It's it's man. I was so excited when they finally came out with the cards, but then I looked at the price tag. And I was like, "Dang!" I think the twenty-seven, the RTX twenty seventy is six hundred, but I was looking at the twenty-eight twenty ATI, and I was like, "Man, nine ninety-nine, eight ninety-nine. I was like, "Man, I might as well just go buy another computer for that price, mm -hmm. and just have another computer sitting around." I was like, "Man, they they're expensive, but you know, what are you, what are you gonna do?" I'm gonna wait. That's what I'm gonna do. There you go. You're mm. just gonna hold off, and then when they go down half price, it's like, all right, half price for half the frame rate. That's, <laughs> there you that's go. Perfect. Now I can go ahead and build my computer up again. <laughs> so, but there you go, guys. If you guys were interested, you got it. It's here. It's Titan, and it's no. gonna change the way we play games and do other things. <laughs> Speaking of upgrades, I wonder if Little Smokey ever upgraded his processor. Probably not. No. We haven't heard from Little Smokey, so we don't know. He probably didn't upgrade. Tell you that right now. That's maybe why we didn't hear from him. It's probably the message is still pending. Yes. Yeah, it can't process it. <laughs> it's still trying to figure out if it's wanting to send or not. <laughs> he's failing. He's like, ah, come on, I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. I gotta do it again. It won't work. <laughs> All right, on to the next news. So the next news is gonna be going to Walmart. So if you guys have not heard, which how did you not hear this? This is like this is the talk of the town. And on Tech Spot too. <laughs> exactly. And this article comes from Tech Spot. Walmart coming out or can't sorry not coming up they already came out with their gaming pc series and it is called overpowered have you seen the logo for this no it is i think it's i didn't a, know this existed <laughs> until we talked about this yeah so 
on the box, it's a puffer fish. It doesn't make any sense. I don't understand how. Wait, I think <laughs> it's partially because it inflates, so it gets bigger. And the Walmart symbol is like, look at that. I guess, but <laughs> with the fact that they call it overpowered, I don't know. I, <laughs> they didn't, they couldn't come up with a better name. Okay, well, um, like at least they call it the rollback. <laughs> The rollback. <laughs> oh my God. So, Walmart came out with their new ga gaming PCs, both desktop and laptops, and a lot of people are kind of dogging them out, and for good reason. These are kind of somewhat not very good. Um, there's a lot of quality issues as far as the components that are inside. Uh, so, if, when it comes down to uh, gameplay, things like that, I haven't seen anybody do any benchmarks yet. Uh, showing if this is if what's inside is good enough mm -hmm. um, for temperatures, things like that. But a lot of the components in there are definitely very cheap. Um, I actually watched, I think it was, um, I don't know if you know who they are, Gamer Nexus. Mm -hmm. um, I watched their video, which you guys haven't checked it out. Um, basically, he was kind of just showing you the chassis, uh, kind of showing you the build. And when I saw uh, when he unboxed it, uh, first of all, the cable management was bad. Yeah, I heard that um, some of the components weren't even plugged in. Yeah, so he was so one of the things he complained about was the fact that the um, not the power supply, the graphics card was partially plugged in. Mm -hmm. So already I can see how that could be an issue for somebody who does not know really much about PCs and this is their first time buying it. First of all, I don't know who would buy a gaming PC from Walmart. I'm just saying. There's a billion other websites you can go to mm -hmm. to get a gaming PC. So if you're getting your PC from Walmart, wh why? Um, <laughs> but <laughs> basically, I can see how that could be a that's a really major concern because if you're not aware of you know what the components are or what they do, and you try to turn on your computer, it doesn't work. You're sitting here saying, "What's wrong?" Mm -hmm. You know, it's and it's just as simple as you got to plug it in, plug your um, plug the. The slot, what is it? The PCIe slot mm -hmm. into the graphics card. Well, it depends. <laughs> Are you talking about either plugging in your PCI if it's connected to the board, or you got to do? I'm your talking power, about going to the power from your yeah, power, power supply. Power, from the power supply to the graphics what card. Kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, so yeah, the cable management isn't really done very well. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like the motherboard, for example, is very is a very cheap motherboard. Uh, the power supply is a great wall power supply, so mm -hmm. not anything fancy. How um, much were they again? So I think the pricing started off at about thirteen. <laughs> oh, at thirteen hundred, they use micro ATX boards. Yep, which <laughs> is really weird. Um, it uses only single channel memory, which no, you got dual channel. Come on, everybody knows dual no, channel. Quad <laughs> channel. Oh, quad. Sorry, quad channel is the best. It's truly king. But if you're gonna do anything, dual channel at least minimum. Minimum. No minimum. <laughs> you always go for the top. Yeah, just be the that's best. How you, just, that's how you make it into the kingdom. That is it. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, you heard it here first. You want to make it into his kingdom? You got to come with quad channel. Yeah. RTX Titan, quad channel memory, the best processor. You No, no i7. Which no micro ATX either. <laughs> yeah, you need full. Full-blown ATX mm -hmm. hardcore. <laughs> yeah. um, so it's kind of weird that Walmart, I don't know what made Walmart get into the gaming PC world. They uh, saw, but, they, I'm sorry, they <laughs> saw how big gaming, like PC gaming, is going now. So they probably just thought, that, that "Hey, true. we can jump in too." But that is who, true. Who cares? Who thinks about going to Walmart for gaming computers? Yeah, and that's kind of where it's like. Again, that's where I say I'm not trying to be mean, but I don't see who would buy a gaming PC from Walmart. I don't. I didn't think there was a need for it, man. I need to. I'm at Walmart, and I'm like, man, I wish they had gaming PCs I could uh, buy. That the only time <laughs> I imagine people going to Walmart for any computers is because they want a cheap one, not that they're looking for a game. Well, I mean, computer. if they they're spending even though they're spending a thousand, yeah, they get some cheap stuff in there, all right. Um, now, well, cheap price point wise, yeah, yeah, thirteen hundred dollars is still kind of up. It's decent for a graphics <laughs> as a gaming like computer. Yeah, and I mean, when you look at the specifications for each one, like their W yeah, DTW series for the desktops, mm -hmm. the specifications are definitely not bad. Eight i seven, you know, sixteen gigs, ten seventy 1070 or ten eighty. Mm -hmm. You know, the specifications are definitely not bad. But then when you know you look at it, it's like okay, the casing is not too bad, but you can definitely see where there are going to be issues with airflow. And then with the fact that a lot of the components are very cheap, it almost makes you wonder as far as durability how long these are going to last mm -hmm. so you know walmart's been getting a lot of flags because you know a lot of people were trying to give it a chance because when you look at the specifications and the price point it's like that's not bad for what you get mm -hmm. and then when you actually get it you're like there's a lot of things kind of wrong with the build it's like they didn't really take a lot of time 
to make sure that things were done right. And this is Walmart's first time getting into the PC world, but with the fact there are so, so many other people out there who have been doing this, you would think that they would have some idea of where to kind of focus. And I mean, the fact that already when you out of the box, the proper components are not connected, it's going to cause people to, you know, mm-hmm. want to return. And it's going to cause a lot of, you know, uproar. Now, this is only for their, like, their <laughs> desktops they've been talking about. Their laptops, they haven't really had that many no. complaints for like that. So, supposedly. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about the laptops. And I guess fo- people are more so focusing on a desktop just because, you know, hmm. more so future. If you want to upgrade things like that, yeah. can this be something that you can do? Which, I mean, with most desktops, you can easily upgrade. You can swap out the parts. You know, but again, for somebody who you know, is not us who builds a PC. They don't really know too much about, you know, building and they're just looking for a good gaming PC and they are looking at this as an option. Mm -hmm. You know, I could see how somebody would buy this, get it home, try to make, you know, plug it in. Something doesn't work. They don't know what's going on. You know, then they're just like, I'm going to return it, (laughs) you know? So, and, you know, of course for us, you know, cable management, things like that, we nitpick on those things just because, you know, that's important to us. But again, for somebody who's just looking to have a, you know, gaming PC, that may not care, but it's just kind of interesting to see that, you know, they don't, there's a lot of things that they didn't pay attention to detail with. Um, now, again, we don't know about their laptop series. Their laptop series may be doing well. It might not you know, be any issues. I haven't really heard anything about it. Um, I've been only hearing more so about the desktops. Uh, so let's see. I want to look real quick, but <laughs> you can keep going if you want. So, um, you know, we'll see how this works out. Um, I don't know if Walmart will is going to continue with making gaming computers. Um, if they do, hopefully, you know, this is kind of something that they can would definitely improve on and work to, you know, make it a little bit better. Again, I don't see who would buy this at a at Walmart. You could let me know who would purchase a gaming computer at Walmart. I'm very curious because. With their with the fact that there are so many people, you know, like uh, Cyber Power, Origin PC, um, I Buy Power. There's a lot of people that sell PCs that you know much better. <laughs> I mean, the price point is very competitive for what you get. I can see how somebody would probably be interested in that. But again, don't get your PC at Walmart. You don't go to you go to Walmart for food. You don't go to Walmart <laughs> for a g- gaming PC. That's that's not cool. Go to go to like Best Buy. I mean, at least you get name brand. <laughs> uh, oh, you looking to see if there's any reviews on them? Um, there's only one review on one lap. There's um, well, there's three reviews for the laptop. That's three and a half stars. Um, their desktops are generally bad. No, like one of them has ten reviews and they're two star. Dang. Fourteen reviews, three star. One of them has twenty five reviews and it's one star. So yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's like I said, these are these are definitely not um this and is also so many Febreze <laughs> air effects. What? They're four out of five stars. Yeah, oh my god, how does for can't two pack of Febreze do better than a gaming computer? Come on, guys. Get your mm-hmm. stuff together. Get it together. But I don't know. You think Walmart's gonna make any more after this? Or is this kind of like they tapped it? They they did it. Now they realize that it was a bad idea. They're gonna just back out. <laughs> I don't know. They might, I think they might keep on for a little bit and then see how it goes from there. Maybe <laughs> that would be. I would be very interested to see them because again, who's buying a game PC from Walmart? Why are you doing it? Apparently, some people are. Some people are to doing it. You know. I mean, true. You got the reviewers. The reviewers are probably the ones giving it the poor rating. The only rating. ones who bought it. <laughs> they're the only ones that purchased it, and they're the ones giving it the poor rating. So. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. You know, best of luck to Walmart. Um, but you, y'all gotta y'all gotta clean up your reputation. Mm. Can't, can't be doing this. This is we we love getting cheap stuff, but we don't want our computers Look, to be cheap. <laughs> first off, before you do this, you need to hire some more cashiers to ring up because there's not enough. People exactly. Yeah. Where's the cashiers? Put the money to the cashiers, not to the computer. Uh, I'm telling you right now, Fallout seventy six not gonna is not gonna be nice. It's gonna go ham on that PC. Well, that's fine. No one wants to play it anyway. We talked about this. I know. <laughs> As you were playing it earlier today. I was. I I, I still enjoy the game. E- even though I'll, I do most of the stuff by myself now because everybody gets on when I'm not on. And then when I get on, I'm like, anybody want to play? Everybody's like, dang, I can't do it. I'm like, 
<laughs> all right, I guess I'm alone. And then I get a 50 Scorch Beast and I'm like, I'm not going to make it in life. <laughs> not in this life. All right, on to the next next news. The next news. Oh, yeah. Comes from T3. You know what? I'm proud of myself. I've been getting my articles everywhere else. So ha ha ha. Nobody's made fun of it, but ah. You're making fun of yourself. So. <laughs> I am. I'm making fun of myself. I've got to have fun. So mm-hmm. next article comes from T3. We're going to go ahead and talk about Sony. Now, of course, guys, know Samsung is trying to or is going to be releasing their foldable phone. Huawei is trying to do the same thing. Everybody's in competition with each other to mm-hmm. be the first to do it. We're going to see what happens. But now Sony is looking to get into it. And basically, they're thinking that this actually might be a good competitor to well, they call it the Galaxy X. I don't know if that's the final name of it or not. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's going to be using a new, the new Snapdragon 855 with a, yeah, with a, with, what they, oh, I can't speak today. They just announced it. Um, and basically, you know, 5G, you mm-hmm. know, all the good stuff in there. I didn't really look, look into much into it. I just heard about the fact they announced it today. So, but apparently the Sony phone is going to be using it. And then they got some pictures kind of showing the concept of it. <laughs> I like the fact that you said it looked like a computer. <laughs> it did a little bit from like an open. I mean, article. I can see, I can see with the way that it's designed, I could definitely see how it could be a computer. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What do you think from that picture? I like it. I like how the end of it is a screen as well. So, like, if you have it closed, <laughs> it can still give you notifications and time. That's and all. nice. Yeah, that's 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 this is pretty nice. So, um, your plans are going to be releasing it, uh, in, of course, in 2019. Now, of course, we've got Samsung trying to release their foldable phone, and then Huawei is going to be trying to release their foldable phone. So, um, the as far as specifications, oops, did I hit the no? Okay, good. As far as specifications are, um, with this specific device, is going to be coming with a 13 megapixel front facing camera. Um, that's going to have 3D facial recognition inside. So, of course, you're going to get your ability to lock with your face. Um, you're going to get your dual cam- rear-facing cameras. One's going to be a 19 megapixel, and then another one's going to be a 20 megapixel. 12. I mean, whew, is it 12? 12? <laughs> I, I'm messing up today, boy. Uh, it's going to have an embedded fingerprint sensor, which nice. now it looks like that's going to be the biggest thing. I'm excited for that because I don't. I would love to have my fingerprint. Oh, anyway, gonna- one of the screen protectors <laughs> are getting away of that. Oh, it shouldn't. Well, it depends because. I don't know. We'll have to see. I don't know. I don't use screen protectors anyway, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm about to say, I mean, it could, because there could be the technology in there that it wouldn't matter if the screen protectors on there mm-hmm. as long as it's still able to read it. I don't know. Um, it's going to, of course, have its foldable design, and it's going to have your dual edge display, which is nice. So like Ken was saying before, where you'd be able to still get notifications even mm-hmm. if the device is closed. Um, it's going to be a 6.2 inch 4K OLED screen, so mm-hmm. you're going to get some good quality. Now, Dragon 855, so it is going to be using that new processor, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. 8 gigs of RAM, and then you have your choices of 128, 256, 512 gig, which, why are we even looking at the other two? 512, that's the way to go. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you do it. So, um, and the look, according to the pictures, it doesn't look too bad. See, right there, look. I, I can see. Yeah, I, the notification, I like it. I like that. That is pretty dope. Now, I... The way the design looks on the back, it, it's not bad. I mean, I like it better when it's open than closed. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm, I still want one. How do you get cases <laughs> for these type of phones? Um, well, mm-hmm. prob- probably what they would do is that you would, it would be a two. Mm, that's true. So instead of having it just be one case, right, it's, it's be split, yeah, it yeah. splits in half and then it just covers that. I, pr- I would assume that's how yeah. they do it. Um, better do it. Um, <laughs> better do it. So, I mean... This is exciting. Uh, I'm very interested to see the different concepts with the felt full of phones. Again, we're not going to know what these phones actually look like until they get released, but at least getting in a good idea of what they potentially co- co- could come to see um, who can come up with the best design for a foldable phone. Mm-hmm. Be interesting. Um, I know we talked about it before uh, with the Samsung Galaxy F is what we originally call it. Now they're calling it the Galaxy X. So we don't know what the final name of the Samsung foldable phone is, but um do, I don't know. Do you think? I think we talked about it before, but do you think that this is this pretty much will replace a tablet, or will tablets still be kind of mm-hmm. still around? Um, because let's face it, these are kind of trying to be the only one. Now, the difference between the Sony foldable phone and then the Galaxy foldable phone is that with the Galaxy foldable phone, you're going to have two screens. You're going to have one that's on the outside that will pretty much act as a normal phone, and then when you open it up it would be a tablet. Mm-hmm. Now, I think 
that I don't know if that would necessarily just be a phone um, mm-hmm. or if it, would, if it would be considered a tablet with the phone capabilities or vice versa. I'm not sure. Sony phone is pretty much just a phone that folds. Mm-hmm. Um, so there are some differences there. It's a bigger phone that you can pull <laughs> to make it more easy to store. Yeah, basically. Um, I do like the fact that they do have the edge. Mm-hmm. Uh, again, that is nice, especially if you, you know, put it down on your nightstand. Look at it charge. It probably has wireless <laughs> charging. So you set it on that and you can just look at it and see your notifications right there and all. Yeah, I, it, I can see that. I, I like the way the idea looks. Of course, I'm interested to see how the world you do with batteries with that. <laughs> yeah, and also, I don't know if this is going to be the actual final pres- look of it either because this isn't a... Yeah, it's like this a 3D, video isn't... Um, it's a 3D rendering. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, I mean, you know, we're not going to know anything. I mean, it looks good when you have it open. When you have it closed, I mean, it's, it doesn't look too bad, but again, yeah, you know, got to take it with a grain of salt. Uh, <coughs> I feel like you just don't like where the cameras are just right in the middle of it when it's closed. I don't mind that, actually. That, that mm. I don't mind. It's just the way the, the, the design is. It's, like, very boxing that's why because it's the laptop look see look I, <laughs> it looks like a closed laptop oh and you flip goodness. it open oh my goodness it's a tiny laptop <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> here we go now uh so i am very interested in this type of technology the fact that we even got to this point is amazing mm-hmm. uh, one of the big things though is going to be implementation because obviously we can see that this is going to be a thing um now the real question is going to be as far as who is it for because i i would still have a tough time figuring out who would necessarily buy this i would think you know somebody who was maybe looking to have their tablet in one this is a good fit for them however you know the only one that seems to take to kind of almost solve a issue is the samsung one Mm-hmm. And that's just because you get a screen on the outside and you also have a bigger screen on the inside. So you're pretty much getting your two in one. Now, for me, in order for any of these to be successful, it's got to be implementation. The mm-hmm. implementation has to be really good. And um, for the Samsung one, I would like to see a, a stylus, an S Pen. Mm-hmm. I think I think that's a missed opportunity if they don't put an S Pen there. I just because of the fact that that's that is the perfect it's the perfect phone for it. Mm-hmm. Say they get rid of the note. I hope they don't. But say they do get rid of the note. This is kind of the replacement to that. It would make so much sense to have a pen that comes with it to be able to write on there. Because now you have you have your phone. You open it up. You've got your tablet. You've got your pen. Now you can jot your notes. They don't do that. I know. This is the perfect thing. It should be the replacement for the note. And it's going to be called the notebook. It's like a real notebook. You flip that, it open. That, and then that you close would be it. bad. That would be pretty good. <laughs> I, you know, I can see them. And doing it comes it. with a pen that comes out the top. So like it's a notebook. Yeah. Or it could be a variant. Yeah. So it could be like you have a note and then you, you like want the notepad or the notebook. There you go. You want, note, you want the pad or the book. Choose wisely. So I think that would be pretty, pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be another lineup for the Samsung phones. Um, I think they should <laughs> replace one of them. I don't think they should have three different lineups well, of phones. That's going to be. Well, if they replace it, they're going to replace it, obviously, with the Note. Yeah. Because the Galaxy, the S series is still going to be there no matter what, because they're coming out with the next iteration of that smartphone. So if anything, they'll more likely replace the Note with this. But again, I don't know. I don't know if it's something where they'll do one more version of the note. And then after that, this foldable phone will replace the note because then it'll be your two and one. Mm-hmm. But then it also almost begs the question of, you know, how popular is this going to be? And if this can or will replace tablets, um, because, you know, tablets are still, you know, they're not, it's not really a growing market. You know, people have tablets, but, you know, not a lot of people really use them. We use our phones a lot more. So in a way, I can see how if this catches on, this mm-hmm. could be a better implementation of being able to have two devices basically in one. So if you want to be able to have a bigger screen to watch your content on, you can. Um, but when you don't want something to have to take an additional device with you, then you've got, you know, your phone phone. Or a foldable phone tablet, whatever, whatever these things are going to be. We don't know. Um, this one is just from Sony, and theirs this just seems to be a phone that folds. Samsung's implementation is a phone and a tablet, and Huawei, we have yet to see, you know, what their device is going to be. So we'll have to see what goes on, but you know, I'm very interested and I can't wait. I'm ex- mm-hmm. I'm I'm excited. I'm excited for 2019. It better, it better, it better bring me joy. It better bring me joy. Yeah. Anyway, so, so I don't know. Right now, between Sony and Samsung, who would you buy? 
If you were going to buy this, would you? I buy? want to see what the actual Samsung's going to look like. Because if this is a rough idea of what the Sony one looks like, I do like how it looks. But I want to see what the Samsung's final versions will look like. Because they just all they did was show you in a dark room. They didn't really try to. Yeah, show they didn't. They really, weren't yeah. trying to give away its appearance yet. So yeah. I need to see what that looks like first. Because I'm not looking to get. I mean, I guess a tablet size would be fine. I just want a phone that I can watch videos on personally. And I like the bigger phones, which I mean, the tablet's fine, but. You know, that's a 6.2 inch display. That's fine, too, for watching videos yeah. on the go. Yeah. And folding it up to make it smaller so you can fit it in your pocket. That works perfectly, too. I mean, mm-hmm. the other one only folds up to the size of a normal phone. That folds yeah. up to the size of half a phone. So that yeah. means it's even more portable than the Samsung one will be. Yeah, that, yeah, that is very true. And make a lot of sense. I mean, who knows? Yeah, yeah I, w- I probably would say the same thing. Probably just wait and see, because I mean, I want to see what theirs gonna look like. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, I know I know Samsung is is going to more likely try to get this out mm-hmm. as soon as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, I hope they take their time with it, make sure everything works out well. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're saying that they're going to be able to start production within the beginning of next year. So more than likely, we're probably going to see this phone summer, maybe around fall time. You may um, see a leak of it early <laughs> in spring because if it's going to start production and someone might leak it, who knows? Yeah, that is true. It, it might start spring. The only reason why I didn't want to push it there is just because since if they are going to be coming out with their next phone, mm-hmm. then more than likely if we do, they may do it alongside and then not release it until later down the year. Mm-hmm. Um, or they may release it at a different event mm-hmm. during summertime or the fall time and then, you know, kind of kind of release it later down well they're going to release it sooner than later because i mean they don't want to they don't want sony being the first one to release a foldable no, phone they, they, want to be the, they want to be the one that said we revolution i mean technically if you think about us samsung kind of started the trend so yeah but it's all about who it's, who not, can it's, deliver. Not, it's not about who comes up with the idea it's the one who actually you yeah. know makes it happen <laughs> who can deliver it so yeah. I, I guess it's a race race of the deliverance like well, light bulbs are a pretty cool idea. I wish there was a bulb that made light. Uh, do they do they care about the guy who said it or the one who did it? Obviously, whoever does it matters. <laughs> Thomas Edison was like, hmm, good idea. <laughs> it's like, I did that, though. You didn't make it. Sorry. That's how it is. Got to be the first to make it. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll see who uh, comes out with the phone. I'm pretty sure Samsung's probably going to be the first one just because this is still free to renders. We don't know if they're even starting production or got a concept or, you know, mm-hmm. anything going on. We For all we know... They may not be working on it right now. From what I'm looking <laughs> at, that doesn't have a charging port. From the, what they have. Oh, it, it might be on the side. It'd be a weird place to do it. It might be only wireless charging. That'd well, be I mean, if if the if you if this is screen, then it has to have a place to. You'd have to move it then, mm. unless I mean now unless they're just getting rid of that and doing wireless charging. But That's my saying. guess would be is that if they are putting a screen, it has uh, to be on the, the side. It has to be on the or side. or only wireless <laughs> charging. Yeah. Which, Which would be an interesting <laughs> thing to make a phone that only wireless charges. That would be interesting. We, I mean, we're losing headphone jacks. So I mean, charging ports. The charging port is the next step, technically. But then they would have to make it so they can connect to computers wirelessly to transfer because people still use that. Oh uh, yeah. So, well, we're not we're not yep. there yet. Yeah. Well, squash that idea quickly. No, we're not cableless <laughs> yet for phones. Yeah, no, not yet. We're not ready to go. Can't all. wait for them to have a car. <laughs> um, have cars come with a wireless charger built in there. They. Do they have some that are already wirelessly charging yeah. built in? Yeah, they already got some. Uh, I think the Chevys, the Chevy trucks. Do they? Yeah, cool. I think they got wireless know. charging built in. So oh. I know one lady, she has a car that had a wireless charger in there. So oh, well, I can't afford those vehicles. No, so they're, they're expensive. Going. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. why I didn't know about it. I, didn't, I don't look at this price It's okay. Points. <laughs> if, I didn't know about it either until I saw a commercial. Mm-hmm. And the guy just put his phone phone in the little like container or compartment. Yeah. And it just charged. And I was like. They do that now? I was like, man, what's next? <laughs> All right. On to the last news, guys. Like I told you. Did, <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. That's it's okay. Fun. We didn't have a lot of topics for you today. We uh, started off small. We're going to come back. We're going to warm you up. we got to get you back in. <laughs> and get back into the groove. Of, oh, my God. But I just thought about it. You're like, next thing, what are you going to do next for computer uh, cars? Next thing you know, they're going to have Bluetooth built into them. <laughs> 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 I got, I got something to break to you, Jim. It's like, oh no! I, 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 I'm been glad doing it for a while. I'm glad I didn't say that. <laughs> oh my god! All right, on to the last topic. <laughs> oh god! Man, one day you'll be able to light cigarettes in your car. That's Actually, right. that's gone. One day I can charge. I can have navigation in my car. It's like, <laughs> what, uh, Jeremy? You do realize you're as like, Shh. one day my car will be able to receive AM and FM signals. <laughs> One day I can finally get satellite radio XM and F. What is it? Um, 
Sirius XM radio in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, on to the last, last. I, I can't speak. Last topic for today. This one comes from Tech Radar. <laughs> Talking about the S10, we're pretty much almost close to it. We've got um a little bit of less than a month to go before we get the chance to hopefully see the next one. Now, there is a lot of hype and a lot of high expectations with this phone. Everybody thinks that this is the phone to get. Everybody believes it is the phone to get. We, I wouldn't put that. I. Uh, this is how you get disappointed. <laughs> There's always high expectations when your phone's going from a single digit to a double digit. Number. Exactly. Exactly. This is like it's a big step to move up and you need to have something to you show. gotta have something to show for it well i mean two this is also their 10th anniversary for the samsung phone mm-hmm. so i mean everybody's putting expectations honestly i don't do that because that's how you get disappointed because you you think it's gonna have all this stuff mm-hmm. and then you really quickly find out no it doesn't you're not gonna do that until the next iteration and then you're mm-hmm. like dang it why did i get so high for this one but this is pretty much kind of the phone a lot of people seem to be excited for. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been getting a lot of leaks, uh, a lot of rumors as far as what it's going to have, what it's going to look like, um, what kind of display it's going to be using. So there's a lot of things going on with it. Uh, this particular one just talks a little bit about the release date, um, kind of the price that we can expect the phone to be and leaks. Now, for the S10, there are rumors that it's supposed to have four variants. Mm -hmm. Um, so you're going to probably have your lower end to middle ground and then the model with pretty much best of the best maxed out crazy stuff you've never seen. Uh, we don't know if they're all going to be the same design or if they're going to be using different designs. Um, Samsung, of course, when they were doing the developer conference did talk about, uh, some of the different designs that they had, which two of them had the notch. Let's just get it out the way. We, we just kind of have to accept the fate of notch for right now. Um, and then Always. they had their uh, Infinity O display, which everybody's been calling it the A-hole or <laughs> I mean, yeah, they've been calling it the A-hole. That, so That's a good I, mean, name. <laughs> I guess I guess we're, we got A-holes on our phones now. <laughs> That's always been the case, though. <laughs> true, true, true. Every time you miss somebody. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they have the truly Infinity um, Infinity display. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put out a theory here. I think I could be, and I'm more likely wrong. But if they are going to release four iterations or four different variants of the Samsung Galaxy phone, it would make sense why there's only four different screen types. Mm -hmm. Because if you have the Infinity, I think it was the Infinity V, Infinity U, Infinity O, and then the Infinity, the new Infinity. I'm not saying that these are going to be it, but I wouldn't be surprised if each phone had one of these panels. Yeah, because the biggest one right now is the Infinity O display with the camera, with there being a hole for the camera. Mm-hmm. Um, so it would make a lot of sense that maybe this could be something we see. Like I said, I'm more likely wrong, but that was a theory I had. Just because the developer conference, there was a lot of a lot of small things that if you paid attention to, kind of are, are a question. So we probably could have seen different versions of the S4, or not the S4, the S10, right mm-hmm. then and there and not have realized it. But we won't know until it gets announced. Um, but there have been um pictures. Now I'm gonna go straight to the picture. I think this is the one that had the picture. Yeah. So what do you think? My phone was ringing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you forgot to unconnect it. <laughs> I forgot to mute it. All right. So what do you think of this picture? So this is the picture that they're showing of what the phone could potentially be now. Mm. So of course it's talking about having a two gradient color. Four cameras on the back, two on the front. I believe this is supposedly supposed to be the S Plus model. So this mm-hmm. is supposed to be the bigger one. Now, from first glance, kind of what are your thoughts as far as the way it looks? I like the two-tone definitely a lot. I like the two-tone too. I think this is something they should have been did. I think this is like, if there's any way to distinguish yourself, it's, it's that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the two-tone gradient, I, I was praying to God because I know for the A-series device that they have in, I think, India... He uses the same type, two grades. So, you know, usually what Samsung does, they, they always put it in their other markets, and then if it works out well, they move on and send it to U.S. I think <laughs> they should charge people $100 more if they want to choose the custom colors they want for two-tone, and they can order it directly from Samsung. That would be that would be smart. I would definitely do that. Mm-hmm. That would be very smart. <laughs> 
Now, first of all, I really hope they come come out with this turquoise and silver color because that's <laughs> that's pretty fresh. And don't look, I would be very disappointed if Samsung comes out with a generic black and does not come out with this color. This color is nice. <laughs> I need this color. That and then do like You're the, gonna get the the pixel color names kind of blue, kind of blue, <laughs> off white. Is this black or just black? What kind of white is this? <laughs> and really pink <laughs> and. Red, black, <laughs> Daredevil. It's because they got Daredevil. That's, that's, uh, that's an open wound because they they canceled Daredevil. Rest in peace. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm glad you said that because there's a lot of people that don't like this design, and a lot of people are are upset and they're saying that if Samsung does this, they won't buy the phone, which. I don't think this is a bad design. They're like, what? Well, what's the purpose of having a bezel-less display if you're still going to have a hole for the camera? And I mean, true, but you've got to remember, you're still playing with new technology. So this st these things, you they still kind of have to work up to a truly bezel-less phone. Because there's a lot of technology that goes behind in making it as far as camera, sensors, all of that still have to... You got to find a place to put it and you still have to find a way to show it under the screen. And we're not necessarily there. We're getting to that point where we're not there. In all honesty, I'm OK with the A-hole display. Um, most people, some people may still prefer the notch over this, think that the notch is a better design. Uh, it really is going to come down to the implementation now, uh, because with this particular render that they show, they showed uh, two cameras on the front and the, the hole for it or the setup for it is still fairly large. So. I don't know how that's going to necessarily look. Um, I don't know, you know, if that's going to be something that will be bothersome or mm -hmm. it will be just kind of how the notch was, where at first you see it and you're like, oh, my God, this is ridiculous. And then just you after a while, you're just like, I'm used to it, which I'm pretty sure that's probably going to be the case here. Nonetheless, I think the phone looks good. You know, I, I like the fact that, you know, it isn't using the notch. We're still getting a lot of screen. I don't personally mind the design. Mm. And I mean, I think overall the phone is a it's a very appealing looking phone, very sexy. I'm just interested to have my hands on it. That's <laughs> that's like can January come so I can pre order this bad boy? Um, we know you have a phone <laughs> addiction, so it's okay. I do. Um, now, one of the things that a lot of people were also talking about with the S10 is that there is a good chance that it may not come with a headphone jack. Uh, the renders here did show that there was a headphone jack still at the bottom. So Samsung could definitely keep it. I can see them keeping it because they're still one of the few companies that does it. Mm -hmm. Then again, if they don't have the headphone jack next year, I mean, we're almost to the point where it's almost like. In my opinion, <laughs> it's time to stop getting upset about a headphone jack. It is. Everything is almost Bluetooth. Stuff. You need to, in my opinion, stop. Yeah, I, you can keep. I, I I agree. I don't make a big deal about. It. I mean, if they do it, then they do it. It's good. But if they don't, I mean, I honestly, I use Bluetooth headsets as it is. Mm -hmm. Or and if I'm not using it, I have a speaker, Bluetooth speaker. I use so everything I use is Bluetooth based. Mm -hmm. And I mean, Bluetooth has gotten to the point nowadays where it's so good. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not gonna, it's never gonna compete with you know the quality that you get from the head, the an actual headset with the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. But I mean, for most people who are, you know, don't really care about that. I mean, it's not that bad. I mean, we are getting to the point where everything becomes wireless. So it, to me, it's not surprising if they eventually go away from the headphone jack. They may still keep it around because that that is something that for people who still do care about, which is a lot, that's a good selling point. We still carry the headphone jack, even though, you know, everybody else still does it. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a good selling point. But I would I just think it's being made too big of a deal as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's one of those things, you know, stop, you know, just relax. You got some good alternatives there. And what Samsung should do is that if they do get rid of the headphone jack, include a pair of wireless earbuds yeah. <laughs> and then boom. Now you don't have to go buy any. You can just get it free with there. Um, but <clears throat> for what we can see based off of the render here, um, of course, we are using a two gradient design, which thank you, Samsung. If you do this, this is this is smart. I like that. I think that definitely to me is going to have the phone stand out more mm -hmm. because you don't have a lot of phones with a gradient color. You have a lot of phones with the single color. So I think this is a definitely a good way to kind of step out. Mm -hmm. And to me, it looks more appealing, mm -hmm. you know, because it blends, especially if you have the right colors, blends really well, very clean. Yeah. So not I'm not against that at all. Um, 
It's gonna have four cameras on the back. So I don't know if you guys know about the, what is it, the A9? Mm -hmm. The A9 has four cameras. So you have your primary, telephoto, one for depth, and then one wide angle. Pretty sure it's gonna be the same setup here, but I'm pretty sure these are gonna be a lot better quality. Um, I don't know if they talk about the specifications. I'm pretty sure, excuse me, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be using the Snapdragon 855. So this will more likely be the first Samsung phone with 5G, um, as that's gonna be make it, making a big thing uh, in early 2019. Uh, as far as pricing concerns, it's gonna start off at 650, um, and then goes all the way up, uh, what? A oh, budget model. Okay, so six fifty for the I guess the budget model. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then it'll just go up from there. They don't actually give you the pricing for if they if they do release other variants. So we're looking at six fifty starting off. So by that price point, we can definitely see that there is going to be a budget version. It'll still more likely it be so somewhat powerful, but it won't have all the latest and greatest. So I think what they'll do is that they'll have their low, their their low small version that's not gonna have all the components. Then they're gonna have the middle ground that'll still have a lot of the you know features and functionality, but just not as big of a screen. Then their top dog is gonna be the one where they probably go out. Um, all the features. <laughs> it's gonna have everything, the most RAM, the biggest battery, everything. Mm -hmm. um, I actually had one guy complain. Mm -hmm. He was like, why don't they make a phone that's small with six gigs of RAM, at least. Mm -hmm. I was like, good question. I don't, I, I, I don't know if it's possible, but it's a good question. Because <laughs> um, apparently he was, he was, I was talking with him and he said he doesn't really like having the bigger phones. He's like, honestly, if this phone had six gigs of RAM, I would, buy, I would just buy this. <laughs> I mean, it's too small of a market. People want big phones and more memory for the most part. They don't yeah. want, there's no one... <laughs> There's hard. There's a lot less people in this world who are going to say, "I want this small phone with as much power as the big one." I want the most people want screen size as well with it, and people they're going to market to who's going to buy the most. Yeah, and and it does. I mean, the world has gone to big phones now. Every everywhere you go, you have big phones. <laughs> so I mean, pants just come with bigger pockets. That's your problem. Yeah. Just get bigger pockets. So I mean, you start, yeah, you, you better you better uh, stop wearing those skinny jeans. That's the problem. Ben so. Gate. <laughs> it's happening again. <laughs> yeah, but um, uh, so I'm thinking what it's gonna do is that the because we're pretty, I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna be looking at the top of the line model. Let's face it, you're gonna have your budget ones and they're gonna be cool, but everybody's gonna want to see if they come out with like this top dog one with 10 gigs of RAM and a terabyte of storage. I'm probably gonna get that one, you know, no matter what the cost. Are you gonna make <laughs> are you gonna make me max out my credit card? Pretty much. I was like, I told myself, whatever they do, I'm gonna get the best one. Because I, I get <laughs> I did it with this one. So I I for the note nine, I got the 512 gig model with the eight gigs. Cause why not? I mean yeah, storage isn't <laughs> that big a deal for me. I mean, I really don't care about the storage, but it is kind of nice to know that I can just keep downloading applications and not have to be like, at some point I got to stop downloading. I'll be like, man, I'm not going to fill this up. Just give me more stuff. <laughs> Put more games on there and everything. Um, I really got it more so for the RAM. I just like the fact that it had 8 gigs because I really want the Note to have 8 gigs. So I was like, I'm just going to get the 8 gig variant. Yeah. And I mean, I'm happy with that. So if they do like a terabyte, I honestly, I probably would just get that phone and be like, you know, what? I think I'm done. Need, I need him to put that 144 hertz screen on it. I can't, after going that razor, get that pro, phone. get that pro motion on there. I don't think it's going to be very interesting if anybody ever gets to the point where they do add a one uh, higher res screen. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're going to do it. I don't think companies are going to do. It. I don't think they see a market for that. That's just me. They they may eventually do that, but I just don't think there's a big enough market to have a very refresh. I would love that honestly. Mm -hmm. if, if Samsung or anybody. Said we're gonna put a 90 hertz or 120 hertz panel on our phones. I'd be like, here, just take an eight gigs of RAM built <laughs> eight, in. Eight gigs of RAM. Just I'm gonna open up Samsung Pay. And be like, where do I put my that new Snapdragon <laughs> processor? Like, <laughs> everything. <laughs> You're gonna pay for your Samsung phone with your old Samsung. Phone. <laughs> exactly. Like, do you do trade-ins for the Note 9? The Note 9 just came out. I don't care. Just give me that other phone. <laughs> oh my god. So, um, but yeah, I mean, what do you think? What do you think about this S10? Or, too much hype around it, you know. Are we? Is, are any of these what we're looking at as far as rumors? Do we think that any of these are absolutely going to happen? Versus this could happen, may not. Mm, I think honestly, they're all capable of happening. It's not out of the realm of reality form. 
you know? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's definitely, I think it's going to be a good phone. Um, they're not really adding too many new features. I mean, it's all stuff that's been so. done before, kind of. I don't think so. I think really the only new thing is more so the... the you have the four cameras, but that's been done before by them. You said, I remember. Yeah, the A9 has the four cameras. Yeah, they've, so they've done already... that before. Um, they don't have a notch, but the camera is located differently up there. Yeah, so I mean, it's it more slightly just the technology and design. That's mm -hmm. probably going to be new. Um, it is going to have the, uh, an in-fingerprint sensor as well, but I think that one's going to be... It's using a different type of technology, one by uh, Snap Qualcomm. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's optical, so it should be better as far as accuracy. So... <laughs> That would be interesting. I would be interested to see how that eventually will work with apps. Um, if that'll make a difference, but who knows? Well, I know like um the Geico app uses fingerprint scanning where you can log in with your fingerprint. That so yeah. And the only thing I would wonder is that when because you know how when you on certain apps they use it, mm -hmm. you're prompted, it prompts in the middle of the screen. Mm -hmm. Like, how would they implement that update to mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty it's gonna happen. I was just like for right now I it's just tough to see like with it where how well will it work with apps because a lot of apps pretty much take up the screen. Mm -hmm. So you know putting your fingerprint there unless they lower it so it's like you put it down here and it doesn't interfere then you know I don't know if it's I, I don't know. We'll we'll see. <laughs> I'm just I'm I'm making some speculation here. Um but I, I mean honestly I do like the way this phone looks. I don't see what the big problem is. And that yes, the color. Yeah, the color. The gradient color. I mean, that is that is a very gorgeous color. That's something you don't put a case on. You just yeah. be careful with. No, see, I, I, yeah, that's very true. Honestly, if, you, I, if you put a case on it, you're going to miss would, out. I would almost get protection on that phone. Just so, so get protection, you can use it without a case. There you go. So when it drops, like I'll, I'll pay the two hundred dollars to get it fixed. <laughs> <laughs> I like the color though. I would probably definitely not put a case on that. But I mean, I honestly don't see the big deal with the de with the design. I think. If if everybody wants to get to a point where you have no bezel, like nothing, mm -hmm. and you want a truly bezel-less phone, you're gonna have to understand that to a degree, we're gonna see some very interesting design changes to get to that point. They have to go further somewhere. I mean, a lot of people are saying they prefer the notch over this, and I'm like, well, I mean, I agree. I, I like the notch. I <laughs> I'm not a big fan of the notch, so for me, it's like I would rather take this over the notch. But it's so close <laughs> to being a notch. Look at that little bit of difference. Oh, yeah. It's so close well, to being a notch. Well, that's only because it has two cameras. If it had one camera, it'd be smaller. Then you wouldn't have to worry about the a notch. notch doesn't. It, first off, it's not about the size of the notch. Look, it's about the notch's existence. Look, the Google the Pixel Three destroyed the hope of me ever desiring a notch. Because it's but so you big. bought one, so oh? so you you still invested I, towards I, the notch. I tolerated the notch and disabled it, <laughs> <laughs> but I will never be accepting of the notch fully. It will never be embraced. I'm waiting for a fully bezel-less phone so I can be like, screw you, notch. 2019 is here and it's bringing no notches. That's what I want to say. I'm waiting for a phone that's only notches. It's all around the side of it. It's just notches. That's that's not what what would those even be used for? The know. introducing the notch. <laughs> that's the name of the, it's notch. You just jump off your balcony after that. Ken's <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, you coming over? Am I coming over today? You he didn't hear? He's not here. He jumped off after he saw that new notch phone. It's like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> right, time for me to take over. This is, is a new type King, of stream. King Ken has arisen. It's now called the King King Stream. <laughs> like, you've been blessed by my presence accept this now Pre press f to respect <laughs> everybody's pressing f in the chat you're like what in the world's going on oh my god dj i just saw dj ko and i was like what well, what am i reading <laughs> oh colors black gray blue yes i'm telling you right now this needs to be true this mm -hmm. need, look at the colors black gray. okay great blue okay red that's all i care about you don't I, care about the green and yellow no because i'm not gonna get the green and yellow i'm gonna get the red <laughs> i'm gonna be honest with you if they do this i'm i will do everything in my power to have this phone what would it <laughs> what would be the second tone have to be if it's with red i mean i would be fine with like i mean i could see like black or like a red with the with red the black. <laughs> yeah red and black or the red with the like the silver. Mm -hmm. you think, okay. I think that would be fine. I would. I think the red and black would look better. Mm -hmm. But if they do red and silver, I'm fine with that. Or what they could do is that all the other colors will be gradient, but the red is just a, like a metallic all red. Mm -hmm. That would. I think that's what they're missing. It's just the colors. They just need more colors. If they put out a red phone, 
I will buy it. I will love it, and I will enjoy it for the rest of my life. I will not that's complain a, at at any lie. point. You will be like, oh, fold my phone out, town, trade this one in. That's how it's gonna be for you. Nah, I'll just be like, hey, I'll just tell my fiance, I'm like, you want this phone? She's like, yeah. I'm like, why? Are you gonna get the phone? For I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh. it comes in red too. <laughs> it comes in red. <laughs> it comes in uh, different types of red. It's metallic. Uh, uh, what's gloss? Pearlescent. I mean, I'm getting all of it. <laughs> But I need I need that. <laughs> I I really need that red. The yellow. I mean, if they don't have red, I guess I gotta go with green or yellow. But I don't want those. The green, unless what it's about like, you want to go with that blue right there. Oh no, I would go. Yeah, I would go with the blue. I would I would go with the green if it's like an emerald green. Mm -hmm. If it's like a nice, not like too bright green, but like that middle between light and dark, I would buy it. Mm -hmm. um, yellow. I don't know. The yellow would I, if they do a yellow and silver, that probably would be pretty nice. Mm -hmm. I probably would say that's actually a good looking device, but don't don't hold my word. <laughs> we'll wait and see. Well, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, we are just and around then, the corner from it, so. And then that poor soul who just buys all silver. I know, right? Just the whole silver. Everybody's gonna be like, "You're so basic. <laughs> Why are you basic? <laughs> Stop being basic." That, I, I'm. If somebody ever does that, you get all these nice candy. Like, let me get the silver. I'm like, sick. <laughs> Easy people. Oh, they, I think they have more colors. And it says while it announced <laughs> that's um, on leaks said that up top. That's but right. while in announcing some software, Samsung may have hinted that the phone will come in silver, green, black, blue, and pink shades. Yeah, and that was again. So I mean, over <laughs> it if that's Samsung saying it. I, I really need to. You might have to deal with the green. I don't want just the green. I want the I want the red. But I mean, that came from the fact of the developer conference when they were showing the software. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's where they showed. On the back, it was a pink, those colors. So, I mean, the pink is nice, but and the green is not bad. But the green is like a light green. I would like a darker green. Like, I think we get enough, like, with, like for example, the iPhone XR. The colors are really nice. They're very, but they're too bright for me. Mm -hmm. I would not mind, like, the red to me is the best color because it's not a bright red. It's a dark red. Mm -hmm. I would like to see that on a Samsung phone or any other phone with that matter. Um, I just think that's a good opportunity because... It would look a little bit better as a darker color than the light. Like, you know, a dark blue would be really nice. Don't get me wrong. I like the color of this. This is a nice color, but I think it's more so because it's the two-tone. Mm -hmm. If this was just all one color, I'd be like, that's not bad. But because it's a two-tone, it's kind of balanced out. I would prefer to have a darker color or a darker colored phone, like a dark blue, dark green. You know, pink is kind of difficult to make dark, so I understand that being light. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um Black is going to be kind of black, so I mean, there's nothing really... A light color black, <laughs> yes, great. Yeah, can I get a lighter black, please? It's like, what? That doesn't exist. It's like, are you sure about that? <laughs> um, so, but I need them to make a red. That's it. I mean, I know they can do it because they've done it. So I know they can make a red phone. Just make a red phone. Don't, don't do what they do where they don't give you the color until later down the month. Because I'm going to be <laughs> mad. I'm going to be very upset. I want to get my phone day one. And I, I want, want that phone day one in red, one terabyte, 10 gigs of RAM. <laughs> that was not even none of those options. I'm just I'm just guessing. <laughs> You're just hoping. That's Start, not I'm, guessing. I'm starting rumors myself. <laughs> You're to hear, folks. No backing up at all, but it's a rumor. It's a rumor. Don't don't take it. Take it with a grain of salt. So Take it with a, a bowl of salt. A, a big old bowl yeah. on your steak. Oh. That, that type of I think you just figured out what you want for dinner now. I think I did. Salt. Oh, and, yeah. and vinegar. Oh, I didn't hear the vinegar part, but <laughs> chips. Yeah, there you go. I want chips. That's what salt I want. Salt and vinegar chips. Don't, don't need to go out Wendy's or nothing. Just go get salt and vinegar chips, and that's my life. So, but there it is, guys. You have been filled in with your daily dose of the hottest tech news in the game. Talking in the game. Nobody else is giving you tech news the way we're going to give it to you. Okay, no. let's just be real. With Actually, there's <laughs> no one else giving tech news out anymore. We've shut them out. Yeah, we, we've we own the copyrights. They have to pay us every time they do tech news. So when mm -hmm. you see somebody doing tech news, just know they had to pay us for that. So, but we thank you guys as always for joining us. Uh, I don't know why I did that. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, guys, we thank you guys for joining us so much on this episode of Nerd Talk. Like I said, I know it's been a while since we've done the podcast. That's why we didn't really have a lot of topics. Just kind of wanted to get back into the groove of things. But we will be back. Actually, we'll be back because the next week after that is Christmas. What? No, it's not. <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's the not. the 19th. Oh, yeah, we still got time. Yeah. So we'll see you guys. <laughs> I had to make sure. We'll be see you probably on the 19th. Yeah, we'll more than likely see you guys on the 19th. 
um, with some more great topics, some good news. Um, as always, got to thank Ken for joining us once more for an My epic pleasure. podcast. He's going to go back to his throne and relax and maybe have some chips that are salt and vinegar kind. That's your dinner, not mine. You're right. I got, I got some veggies at home. Oh, excuse me. Being healthy over here. Yeah, asparagus. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for joining us on this podcast. Like I said, we do these on Twitch. So again, if you're not following us on Twitch, make sure you follow the channel on Twitch. Make sure you follow him on Twitch. And if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you guys so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed. Like I said, leave comments down below. letting us know your thoughts on what we talked about. Like I said, if you guys do want to take time to read these articles on your own, we will have them in the link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you know the next time the next video of Nerd Talk gets uploaded, you are there and you are ready to go ahead and watch it. And the next time, guys, my name. What's your name? How do you know it? My name is Jay Knows Tech. <laughs> That's King Ken. Don't forget it. Don't forget Neither that name. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, stay techie. Have a good one, y'all.